2018 Nautique G25 with gunmetal metal flake and white mystic white and victory red with the flight control tower with mystic white and gunmetal with those strapless board racks coming around we got nice docking lights on the bow and then of course on top of the tower we've got the bimini with surf pockets and two pairs of jl 8.8s but that white chromax on the side really seals this design really really clean looking boat and we can see the underwater lights shining blue underwater lights on the back of the G25 white chromax on the back in the accents all right well enough for me let's jump on in and take a look at the interior this is 2018 G25 2018 Nautique G25 sitting here on the platform uh, go through colors we got white frost anthracite with victory red and white chromax so as we're sitting here on the back uh, really what we'll do is we'll take a look right here first thing cooler nice integrated cooler here on the back with the drain at the bottom and we've got a nice grab handle here when you're getting in and out of the water it's got the GoPro uh, attachments down here uh, as we walk up, we've got that JL controller for the back, the transom remote. All right, and we will take a look at the full picture. The flight control tower in white and anthracite. So mystic white and anthracite with the Nautique strapless board racks and the uh, surf, or bimini with surf pockets. And he's got two pairs of the JL 8.8 audio tower speakers let's take a look at the storage here on the transom two rear hatches plenty of storage in there this is housing the table um, and uh, and then this over here pretty empty so plenty of storage take a look at the engine while we're here this one has the PCM XR7 this is supercharged motor 6.2 liters 550 horsepower really nice to have good looking white chromax here as you walk in do a great job of putting that C deck there so you don't have to step on your seat as you walk in um, so just taking a look at the big wraparound seating in this boat plenty plenty of storage so we step down in we've got two compartments here on the floor first one's gonna be all your pumps bilge batteries Second one's going to be your cooler, the integrated cooler. Over here on the port side, you've got your lean back. So pop that up, lean back here. This is also a another lean back that's in the seat itself. And all of this goes well with the reversible seat. So the cool thing about this layout is it gives you a lot of couch seating, but still, you know, a lot of room to maneuver around the boat. And down there is access to your V drive as well. Remove this little storage compartment and V drive. Throw this back. All right. Now we'll make our way up here. And just to, when you're taking down these seats, you basically just hold both these levers in. You pull down, there you go. All right. Check out the glove box here. Nice jail head unit there. Couple different storage areas. Got our Fender Pros over here. Cool thing about this, we got little vents. So popping in and out, these vents, get some airflow in here. 
Right there, we've got the passenger seat heat. So that'll get this seat nice and warm. And then we have a little bit of tint. A uh, little bit of tint. I don't know what you call it. Crinkling, fading, just getting a little old. Um, and then we have a, a wave front speaker system here in this boat. So pretty awesome to have on this boat. It's now a, a permanent Paragon feature, but it's nice to have here in the G25. And let's get into the helm. All right, sitting here at the helm, you'll know pretty standard for this feature um, or this model. Nice recessed dash here, pretty low, so you have great visibility through the windshield. Uh, we've got our heater vents up here, the heater package, and as I mentioned earlier, you got your vent here, which is nice. Um, but really good link pan array screen, um, all your menu items here in the middle. You know, anything from presets to mapping to settings to your courtesy lights. Uh, and all your vitals for will be uh, up at the top. So hours, voltage, oil pressure, all that stuff. Um, and this boat does have the steering assist and stern thruster. So as you see right here, this orange bar, uh, it actually does uh, control kind of, or it'll tell you where the wheel is. So if I'm turning left, it's going to turn left with me. And then once you get into uh, your auto, once the boat's on, it'll turn blue. And then steering assist kicks in as you are going below four miles an hour. It's a pretty cool feature. And really all, you know, speed controls in the center. We've got our awareness camera there. If you don't want that, you can get rid of it and keep your switchboard, which is, you know, what we say is like a favorites menu uh, on here. So. Pretty simple there, this has the uh, automatic fire extinguisher and helm command here with that nice white Chromax border. Um, you know, really, it's you've got a lot of space here at the helm in the G25. Uh, you know, a lot, big armrest, seat really wraps around you. Um, and of course, you had the big mirror. Heading up to the bow, nothing too much up here. And as we're up, as we're heading to the bow, battery switch so right here battery switch on the right and of course your trash can here on the left so heading up definitely a g25 bow lots of space up here and you've got armrests pop up so you can sit with your armrests up or down whatever you're feeling cool thing about the G25 bow and how they're doing the bow filler cushions is you can flip it over to then have C deck on the other side. So say we wanted to flip it over, it's covered in C deck. So to save the vinyl, you can just flip it over and it'd be a nice walkthrough. And it sits right comfortably in there. And then the seats just go right on top. And the front's just a plunger, so if you want to take that out, you can as well. Um, but really nice up here. Plenty of cup holders, speakers, uh, sea deck, of course, all around. Really nice to have. Um, but very, very clean boat. It's been very well taken care of. Uh, it's very hard to find anything, you know, deficient about it in a way. Um, you know, there's a couple scuffs here and there. A couple scuffs on the seats. And there is a there is a little vinyl tear here, but the grand scheme of things, it, it's a pretty darn good looking boat. It's got heaters, um, and that's about it. So, uh, oh, let's take a look here. Look at the storage in here. Good looking sub. All right, well that's enough for me. Let's get some running footage. All right, here's Colin in the 18 G25. It's got the XR7 motor. It's not gonna struggle in a turn. <laughs>
hear that motor kind of kick up a little bit in the corner, but surf pipe helps a lot. So it's still pretty quiet inside the boat. Here you go, guys. It's a beautiful G25. Amazing shape. Come check it out in 3 Boatworks, in 3 Thanks for watching.